Another question voters will be asked is if referendums should be held alongside general elections. We did this in 2018, and it was not pretty. People had to answer 10 questions in addition to voting for local leaders. Voters were stuck in line for hours and precincts began counting votes before everyone got a chance to vote. Some say that affected the outcome of the voting. Since then, the government has split referendums and general elections. But the KMT wants to hold them together, saying it would be more cost-effective and achieve a higher voter turnout. Now, there's one last important question, and that one's about nuclear energy. The question is, should Taiwan push forward and finish building its fourth nuclear power plant in Longmen? Stash spoke to Professor Li Ming at Tsinghua University to find out why he thinks Taiwan needs to build the Longmen facility. I think uh, uh, Longmen nuclear power plant is very, very important for the power supply for the next uh, maybe 40 years, 60 years or even 80 years. I'm pretty sure we will run into so-called rolling blackout starting next year, maybe up to five years later, five or six years later. For the next five or six years, the installed capacity of patchable power is not changed at all. So if we abandon nuclear, I don't think we can survive. Looking at, I suppose, at some of the, the fears that the anti-nuclear movement, movement have about nuclear power in Taiwan, uh, I mean, their movement has grown stronger since uh, the Fukushima Daiichi meltdown in Japan in 2011. And they worry that Taiwan um, would be susceptible to that kind of a, a meltdown if there were a serious earthquake in Taiwan. I mean, how valid are those concerns? Well, as long as you can, you can, through the proper design of nuclear power plant, you can keep the plant safe, even under the earthquake. For example, in the United States, there's a, a very famous nuclear power plant building very close to an active fault. That's a Diablo Canyon in California. That plant has been operated for four or four almost 40 years now. Based on the evidence we have now, you really cannot say that we have a, a active fault underneath the plant site. So for the public referendum, we are not saying that the power plant is going to operate. We are asking government to initiate the process of getting license operating license for the power plant. How big are the risks from that kind of contamin from contamination from nuclear waste and, and is the government doing enough to minimize those risks? If you talk about risk of nuclear waste to the people for the next several hundred years, the risk is zero. Okay, I say that very clearly, is zero. For the fourth nuclear power plant, the design for the 40 years or even 60 years of operation, there's no waste going out from the plant site. Everything is inside the plant. Then what we can do about the waste from the first, second and the third nuclear power plant, then we can do the same thing for those waste. Now, for someone, for someone, if you do not have a repository site, that means the issue is not solved. But for me, no. The repository, repository site is a political issue. It's not a technical issue. So I think the nuclear waste is not a real problem at all in this public referendum. But while Professor Lee is convinced Taiwan needs the Longman nuclear plant, others disagree. Environmental researcher Wei Yang tells Stash why he thinks the plant is a waste of time and money. We really don't want to see the, the possibility and the risk of a nuclear accident take, take place in Taiwan because in that way, basically the people living in the northern part of Taiwan will have nowhere to hide. And secondly, because the Longman nuclear power plant uh, it's a power plant that uh, started construction in 1999 
and uh, after 15 years of construction, it has not yet finished and uh, has not yet passed the, the required uh, process and uh, um, test. And thirdly, there, there are some risks concerning earthquake because the geology evidence has indicated that uh, just right beneath the, the uh, power plant and uh, in the ocean, under the ocean, outside the power plant, have several um, fault uh, which can uh, can cause earthquake. I don't. We, we just really don't see the point of invest so much ten years and about at least a hundred more billion dollars into this kind of uh, um, poorly conducted construction. I think we have better ways of spending or investing those resources. I mean, on the topic of carbon kind of emissions, I guess, the United Nations has called nuclear power a low carbon source of electricity that can uh, help to mitigate climate change. I mean, if, if Taiwan is serious about protecting the planet, shouldn't the government be building more of these power plants rather than closing them down? Yeah, I mean, um, technically, uh, nuclear power is a low carbon technology that we agree because it does not need fossil fuel to operate. Um, but first of all, if you look at the life cycle emission, um, the scientists until now have different opinion uh, concerning that. Some scholar like uh, Mark Jacobson has indicated that if you look at the whole life cycle, like 100 year life cycle, uh, of the different electricity technologies, you will dis you will find out that despite that um, the the emission from nuclear power is significantly lower than coal-fired power plant, but it's still significantly higher than that uh, of renewable energies. If we are going to reduce carbon emission largely quickly uh, and starting right now, uh, we just simply cannot count on a energy technology that can only contribute uh, after about seven or ten years from, from now.